Hey y'all, I'm Callie, and this is the Raul Fam. Welcome back. So this week I am going to be doing something a little bit different for um, Infertility Awareness Week. I am so excited. One in four women have had a miscarriage and one in eight women struggle with infertility. Now I have heard many different statistics, one third, I have heard um, 60 out of 100 um, cases are actually because of the woman, not the man, which adds to the struggle of infertility. Um, so today is day one, the five day challenge. Um, I was told a photo challenge by another friend who struggles with infertility. She has been trying for eight years with her husband and they have adopted three beautiful daughters along the way. Um, but that's not my story to tell, that's hers and it is a really cool story and I have a lot of respect for her. Um, so, honor your story. So this would be honoring my story and Ashton's story. Um, so our story um, kind of really started when I was 15, um, which is when I guess initially I was diagnosed with the bicornuate uterus. Um, however, uh, they didn't tell me. They just described that um, my uterus was a little bit different shape than the normal uterus and that it may make it difficult to conceive. And when you're 15, you don't necessarily think too much about that kind of stuff. Even though I wanted kids, um, it was just kind of a, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So I didn't really think much of it. Then when I was 23, I was having um, basically adenomyosis flare-ups for about three months and I didn't really know it was adenomyosis at that point. <clears throat> so, because I had never gotten that diagnosis before. So we had gone to the hospital because I was over the pain and um, so I was taken to the ER to try and maybe get the ball rolling um, because my general practitioner, as much as I loved her um, I will say that she didn't really take my pain um, seriously so I was hoping that maybe my pain would be taken seriously because I had gone for three months with that pain and constantly taking um, pain meds which I was not very fond of I didn't really like that so <sighs> we, at the end of that three months, I was actually diagnosed with adenomyosis and I was told there is no cure for adenomyosis, there's only a treatment plan. And that treatment plan is basically just taking ibuprofen, high dose ibuprofen. And so, um, you know, my mind thinking this is all in my uterus, a hysterectomy will take care of everything and um, because I was 23 at the time not married no kids I was not even given that option even when I asked about it 
which like I said in previous videos um, I am kind of thankful for that now because I feel like I definitely would have regretted that decision in hindsight so um, that really is the only cure for what I have um, both of those things combined um, they can cause irregular cycles um, miscarriage whether it's um, early on in the pregnancy or later on in the pregnancy um, the bicornuate uterus can cause preterm labor and um, a late term miscarriage unfortunately so that is one of those we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it moments things um so now my husband and I Ash and I we've been trying to have a child for a year um when we hit the six month mark where they tell you to um seek help if you're wanting a child um I was not in a good headspace um I wasn't. Um, I just lost my brother two months before that, and so I was not in a good headspace to be having lots of doctor's appointments and the stress of all the tests that they'd be doing. Um, I'm still not really um, wanting all those tests done. So um, they, because before my brother had passed we had started to get the ball rolling but I needed to call and set up an ultrasound that was the first thing they wanted me to do and I didn't do that because I think it was a week or two later my brother had passed away so we ended up not pursuing it until I think three-ish months ago and um, we had started going through all those different tests um, to see why I hadn't had my cycle in so long and to see why we haven't gotten pregnant. Um, so that's, if you watch our videos um, going back, you see all the updates from those appointments. Um, that was really stressful on me um they even did some testing on ash and um it's just been really stressful on us and then all this then COVID-19 so we are not really wanting to go into the hospital to see the OBGYN more than we really need to um so we are waiting until all of this, um, I guess, slows down before we start back on um, the other test that they wanted to do on me. And um, we, I'm pretty sure we only have one more test left. And I was told that it's not going to be a very pleasant test. Um, I am not really looking forward to it, but that's okay. Um, so honoring our story that you can have a lot of different ways of interpreting that. Um, so right now, um, we have <clears throat> a little onesie that we had bought and, um, we have it folded up on top of our Bible because we are Christians and um, there are so many women in the Bible that have struggled with infertility um, and God had blessed them with a child and so that is a reminder to pray that is a reminder to trust God that is a reminder that um, in God's time and um, that God has a plan and a purpose 
for all of this, even if we can't necessarily see it right now. Um, it's a reminder to put it in God's hands and not to stress too much about it because it is pretty much out of our control and God can make a way. He is the way maker. So, um, that is honoring, how we honor our story. Um, share in the comments below how you honor your story and, um, I hope and I pray that you guys help spread awareness um, when you make a post. Uh, the big hashtag for um, Infertility Awareness Week this year is um, hashtag flip the script. Once again, hashtag flip the script. Um, share your story, honor your story. And we'll see you guys later. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you're notified every time we post a video. We try to post a video every week, except for this week, we will be posting a video every day in honor of Infertility Awareness Week 2020. Hashtag flip the script. Um, comment where you can um and share share your story